please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more future videos like this and also share this video with your friends. SAS Interview Question and Answers What is SAS? SAS means Statistical Analysis System, which is an integrated set of software products. What is the basic syntax style in SAS? To run the program successfully, you have to follow the basic elements. There should be a semicolon at the end of every line. A data statement that defines your data set. Input statement. There should be at least one space between each word or statement. A run statement. What are data sets used for? Data sets can hold information such as medical records or insurance records to be used by a program running on the system. Data sets are also used to store information needed by applications or the operating system itself, such as source programs, macro libraries, or system variables or parameters. What is the SAS dataset? A SAS dataset is a file consisting of two parts, a descriptor portion and a data portion. What are the functions of SAS? Information retrieval and data management, writing reports and graphics, statistical analytics, econometrics and data mining, business planning, forecasting and decision support, operation research and project management, quality improvement, data warehousing, application development. What is SAS in formats? SAS in formats are used to read or input data from external files known as flat files, ASCII files, text files, or sequential files. The informats will tell SAS on how to read data into SAS variables. What is the difference between node up key and node up options? The difference between the node up and node up key is that node up compares all the variables in our data set while node up key compares just the by variables. What is factor analysis? Factor analysis is a common term used for a family of statistical techniques associated with the reduction of a set of observable variables in terms of a small number of latent factors. The main goal of factor analysis is data reduction and summarization. What is the use of stop statement? A stop statement is used to control the continuous looping in set statement. How will you generate test data with no input data? You will generate test data with no input data using put statement and data null. How SAS treats the DSD delimiters? When you define DSD, SAS treats two consecutive delimiters as a missing value and remove quotation marks from character values. What SAS features do you use to check errors and data validation? To check errors, use the log and for data validation, use things like proc freak, proc means or sometimes proc print to see how data looks. What are the difference between SAS functions and procedures? The difference between SAS functions and procedures is that procedure expects one variable value per observation. Function expects value to be supplied across an observation. What are the difference between the SAS data step and SAS prox? SAS data step is used to read in and manipulate data. SAS procs are subroutines performed tasks on SAS data set. How many procs are in SAS? SAS supports four categories of procedures reporting, statistical, scoring, and utility. How to test the debugging in SAS? For debugging in SAS, 
use the debug clause after slash in the data statement. What is the use of the percentile include statement? Percentile include statement reads an entire file into the current SAS program you are running and submits that file to the SAS system immediately. How to create a permanent SAS data set? In order to create a permanent SAS data set, there are two steps necessary. Assign a library and engine. Create the data. Make sure to assign both the library other than work and data set name to make the data set permanent. What are the default statistics that PROC means produce? The default statistics that PROC means produce are N, Min, Max, Mean and Standard Deviation. What are common programming errors committed in SAS? Common programming errors committed in SAS are missing semicolon, not checking log after submitting program, not using debugging techniques, not using FSView option vigorously. What is a library in SAS? A SAS library is a collection of one or more SAS files that are recognized by SAS and that are referenced and stored as a unit. You reference a SAS library by a logical name called a libref. How do I read a SAS dataset? If you are reading data from a raw data file, use an infile statement. If you are reading data from another SAS dataset, use a set statement. Use an input statement containing column numbers to read data arranged in neatly defined columns. What is SAS Dictionary? Dictionary tables are created and automatically maintained by SAS system at runtime to store information related to SAS data libraries, SAS system options, SAS catalogs, and external files associated with the currently running SAS session. This information is stored as special read-only PROC SQL objects. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more future videos like this. And also share this video with your friends.